All right, thank you, Elias. Certainly last uh, but not least, uh, I'm going to be introducing uh, Brent Cooper to the stage to uh, introduce our next startup. Before I get to that, though, I do want to let you guys know after this presentation, we are going to be all going to the ninth floor for our reception, where we'll have all the food and drink that we talked about. So please feel free to go up there uh, once we conclude this uh, show. Thank you. Hi, for those of you that don't know me, I own an IT services company called C Forward. One of our slogans is we make IT easy, we make it easy. And when I met this crew from Paper last year, uh, I fell in love with them and their product because they make it easy. It's something that we are interested in. And um, they, uh, if, as I look around the room and a lot of community leaders, think of how this product could potentially save you time and money uh, if you could think of all the committee meetings we sit on, the board meetings, if you could eliminate the paper for those meetings and you could eliminate the time that it takes to print things out, to collate, to staple, um, you know, you could eliminate the maintenance costs. There's a lot of benefits to this product um, and they're a very passionate team. Um, they are uh, dedicated to this solution and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to get to work with them. My company's been using this already and I believe in it so much that I'm already an investor. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Josh Israel, who is uh, the founder and CEO of Paper. Thank you. Thank you, Brent. All right, I'm good. Uh, so yeah, so my name is Josh Israel. I'm co-founder and CEO of Paper. And after successfully selling my previous startup in India, I sat down in my palace in New Delhi, <laughs> surrounded by my servants, bathing in my riches, and I thought to myself, you know, should I retire while I'm still young and fertile? Or should I take my brown ass to Kentucky <laughs> and build a company in the boring B2B space? <laughs> Clearly a no-brainer. So here I am, ladies and gentlemen, here I am. Now, you probably know it's not status quo to put the team slide right up front. But to me, it's one of our keys to success. We've seen the highs and the lows of startup life. And we know some of the essential factors are persistence, determination, and hustle. To give you a quick example of hustle, a few years back when we were running out of money in our Indian, in our Indian company, I took the last of the money, flew to America, bought up 10 iPhones, smuggled them back through customs in India, sold them for a profit just to give us a few more months of runway. While we raised around, that's how we roll. Uh, so speaking of smuggling, I also smuggled one of the most talented developers out of India with me. And along with her and my co-founder, Devin, whom I've known 15 years and hated for every single one of them, we make up Team Paper. Now, so prior to joining Uptech, we did actually build and exit a company to the largest player in our space in India. That wasn't a joke. And during that exit process, we were thinking about what we wanted to work on next. And so we had a few ideas of things that pissed us off while we were building our previous company and some interesting things we wanted to work on. This included, but wasn't limited to, an iPhone speaker case, BAS, which is bots as a service, and something uh, near and dear to Devin and I's hearts, booters. It's like hooters, but you guys get the point, you guys get the point. And, and finally, to uh, kill paper. After realizing that we would have to bootstrap booters, we put that on the back burner and we decided to focus on the biggest problem up there, which was to replace paper and printers in the office with the painless solution. So before we started to build a product, we wanted to make sure that this was actually a problem. So we started to research and we found that on average, employees print 10,000 sheets of paper every single year, 40 to 50% of which ends up in the trash. This actually adds up to around 1 trillion sheets a year worldwide. It's an incredible waste of money. Now, you're probably sitting there thinking, you know, what the hell? Why are still people printing? It's 2017. What are they doing even printing paper anymore? And we thought the same thing, too. So we started to look into it, and we found there's some, some main reasons people are doing this, you know, to either mark up documents, get a signature, or step away from the distractions on their computer. And one of the, most, uh, one of the main reasons we heard is actually, I'm not sure why I printed that. I probably shouldn't have. I was just used to doing it. Now, this last reason really resonated with us and led us to how we shaped our product. So what were those people so used to doing? It's simple. They were used to hitting file print. Well, I'm standing before you here today to usher in a new age of printing. I'd like to introduce to you the future of printing file print. That's right. That's right. 
Before you laugh, that the beauty and magic of our product is actually we didn't change the behavior that people are used to. We provide every end user with a tablet loaded with our custom software that allows them to instantly print to that tablet without changing their MO of hitting file print. It's truly that simple. Take a look live how it works. So I have a document open. I hit file print. The tablet shows up automatically as a printer with no software installations. And just that fast, it shows up on the tablet. From there, you can make any changes you would on a normal piece of paper, highlight, mark it up, get a signature, send it to somebody else. So now that I've explained how our product saves paper, let me explain how our business makes paper. We're following a classic SaaS model where we charge on a per month, per user basis, anywhere from $20 to $30. The twist is that we provide these tablets upfront, free of cost to the business. We can recoup that investment within the first few months. Uh, we found that on average, businesses are spending about $1,000 per employee on paper and their associated costs every single year. So if we're able to reduce their paper output by 30 to 40%, our solution essentially pays for itself. We're looking at targeting a revenue run rate of around $100 million in the next six to eight years. We believe this is achievable by looking at the small to medium sized business market. If we can get into around 20,000 of those businesses with a 20 seat average order, we can achieve our goal. Now, if you're an investor in the audience and you wanna look at people that play in our space, as an indicator of market opportunity, go right ahead, you'll see that they're all billion dollar companies. The problem with these companies when it comes to saving paper is they're a jugad. You're probably wondering what the hell is a jugad? Well, when I was in India, this was a term I would hear often from my software developers. Essentially, this means a hack or to create a workaround to a problem like my buddy Raj up here is doing because he doesn't have an iPhone or an iPad and he wants to listen to music while he cooks his food. That, <laughs> that's what these services provide for businesses trying to go paperless, a jugad. They're not focused on the problem of paper consumption in the workplace. They all have various other missions, such as you know, document collaboration or file synchronization, for example. Fundamentally, though, people are still printing. That's the beauty of our product. We don't change their behavior. So there's no more hacks, there's no more workarounds, there's no more jugading. So right now we're piloting with a few organizations, including the Northern Kentucky Chamber of Commerce. Uh, they're looking at implementing this in their board meetings and committee meetings, which would save them a significant amount of paper. Uh, Graf Stiebel and Coin is a law firm in downtown Cincinnati that has been using our product for a while now. They've saved a significant amount of paper and actually increased their lawyer's efficiency. Uh, they're loving the product. See Forward and SpliceNet are both local IT firms that are using our product and also reselling it through to their clients. And as you know, Brent, who introduced me, is personally invested in the company. So, so, so what we've been seeing from our pilot program is pretty encouraging. On average, we see that employees are saving about 250 pieces of paper every single week. Now, a 50-person organization, that's 650,000 pages saved every single year. Traditionally, this would cost the business around $40,000 for the paper and the ink alone. If they use our solution, it's 12 grand. Net savings, $28,000 every year. So with those, uh, with those metrics in mind and the success of our pilot program, we're raising our seed round uh, with a portion of it already committed. We do accept cash and you know, PayPal, Bitcoin, Uber credits, rent, you know, free rent, whatever you guys, you know, we're open to negotiate. Have a couple drinks and then come talk to me and we'll figure it out. Uh, so before, before I leave you guys tonight, I just wanna play a quick video of paper and show you some of its use cases. And yes, the video does have the classic upbeat startup music that every startup video has. Here we go everything that we need to achieve. The year's looking great. So.
what the gangster. printer is doing up here. Type, play play Should I smash it? Right. Should I smash it? Ah. There we go. Thank you. Hope you had a good night. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes our show. I hope you guys enjoy your drinks and food upstairs. We can look forward to talking to you then. Thank you.